wish you could try macOS without giving up your Windows PC? You can. I'll show you how to install macOS on an external drive, letting you enjoy both systems in a single PC. This is a great way to test out macOS without affecting your main drive. So let's get started. The process is a bit technical, so follow each step very carefully. First, connect an external hard drive to your computer. An SSD drive with a USB-C port is recommended for optimal performance. Open Disk Management If your external drive has partitions, right-click on each and select Delete Volume. We need to convert the drive to a GPT partition scheme, as macOS uses UEFI boot which is only compatible with GPT drives. To convert, right-click on the disk and select Convert to GPT disk. Next, create a 2GB partition and format it to a FAT file system. Name this partition Installer. Create another partition using the remaining space and format it to XFAT. This is where we'll install macOS. Next, I'll guide you through downloading the files needed to boot and install macOS. Before we proceed, use CPU2 software to identify your processor's code name. Mine for example is Coffee Lake. The tutorial is for Intel processors only. macOS is designed for Intel and Apple Silicon with no official support for AMD. Installing macOS on AMD is significantly more difficult. Once you know your processor's code name, visit this page to download the OpenCore EFI file for your processor. OpenCore EFI enables macOS to run on non-Apple hardware by providing essential drivers and configuration. EFI files are available for both desktop and laptops. I'm using a Dell Optiplex mini PC, so I need the laptop version. After downloading, extract the zip file. Then copy the EFI folder to the installer drive we created earlier. This EFI folder contains the bootloader which is responsible for starting macOS. Next, we need a macOS recovery image. We'll use the OpenCore PKG tool to download your desired macOS recovery image. Download OpenCore PKG from this GitHub page. Extract the downloaded zip file. You'll also need Python installed on your computer, as it's required to run a script for downloading the macOS recovery image. You can easily install Python from the Microsoft Store. Once Python is installed, open the OpenCore folder and navigate to the Utilities folder. Inside, find the Mac Recovery folder and open it. You'll see a Python file named macrecovery.py. This command line tool will assist us in downloading the macOS recovery image. Here, in the address bar, type cmd and press enter. It opens the command prompt in this directory. The commands for downloading different macOS versions differ. To find the right command for your preferred version, visit this page.
It lists command for all the macOS versions, from macOS Lion 10.7 to macOS 14 Sonoma. I'll demonstrate by installing macOS 14 Sonoma on the external drive. So I'll simply copy this command. Paste the copied command into the terminal and press enter. This will initiate the download of the macOS Sonoma recovery file. Once complete, you will see a new folder named com.apple.recovery.boot in the same directory. Inside, you will find the base system.dmg file, essential for macOS installation. Copy this entire com.apple.recovery.boot folder and paste it into the installer drive. To avoid encountering errors during the macOS installation process, we strongly recommend using a wired Ethernet connection instead of Wi-Fi. We are now ready to install macOS on the external drive. Restart your PC and enter the BIOS settings. Disable Secure Boot. In the boot sequence, set your external drive as the first boot device. Save and exit the BIOS. After restarting, you will see a new screen as your PC is now using the open core bootloader. Select the first option to boot into the macOS recovery environment. Before installing macOS, open Disk Utility and format the macOS partition to the APFS file system. We initially formatted it as XFAT for compatibility with both macOS and Windows. If formatted as NTFS, macOS wouldn't recognize the drive. So select APFS and click Erase. Now, close Disk Utility and select Reinstall macOS Sonoma to begin the macOS installation. Choose the macOS partition as the installation destination. The installation will take about an hour, so please be patient. Once the installation is finished, you will see the macOS setup screen. Just follow the on-screen instructions to get your macOS up and running. Congratulations, you have successfully installed macOS on your external drive. So, enjoy the experience. From now on, when you start your PC, you'll see a dual boot screen where you can choose between macOS and Windows. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials.